So, I found it hard to make this video because we're just a few months removed from losing one of our dogs, Mozzie, uh, to gastric lymphoma type of cancer that was really aggressive and it was a really hard time uh, you know, watching him kind of decline and, and, and dealing with the emotional reality of losing, you know, one of your pets, you know, part of your family, you know, coming back from Mozzie's first chemo treatment, you know, I kind of told Carol that I didn't know if I even wanted another dog after, um, going through what we went through with Mozzie. Um, you know, Mozzie was a rescue. We had him for, you know, probably, f I guess somewhere around four years. Having to go through that every few years is not something that, you know, really anyone wants to um, wants to go through. So I, I really wasn't looking to get another dog. Um, it wasn't something that I uh, was pursuing. Uh, and really, I don't think Carol was pursuing. A few weeks ago, when she was out of town, she was sent a video through a mutual friend of a dog that had just come out of surgery to have a leg removed. Um, and it turns out it was a five month old puppy that had been in an accident uh, with an RC car um, and was surrendered to the veterinary clinic because the previous owners couldn't pay for the operation to fix him or even um, you know, have the leg removed. So one of the vets that work at this clinic performed the surgery, they fostered uh, him and uh, put him up for adoption. So Carol kind of saw this happen early on. Um, she was out of town and set up an appointment. Um, so we actually went to meet him uh, with Enzo to kind of see how they would interact uh, just in case. And honestly, just sort of fell in love with him. Again, not really looking for another dog. So it was a very emotional uh, pulling at both ends with, you know, still being hesitant to want to get into something like this because of losing Mozzie so recently, a few months ago, um, versus, you know, helping a new dog, you know, in a rescue type situation and really bringing them in to be a part of the family. He's really an interesting dog. And I think his story in particular is interesting and the people that helped him, um, you know, kind of get to a place where he could be adopted and uh, find a good home uh, is worth telling. Uh, it's worth um, recognizing. I'm sure you'll see more of them on both Carol and I's social channels, as well as videos just like this one. So, without further ado, meet Trip.